Welcome to Agron Infotech. Today I shall introduce, another Excel tool, that is useful for getting trends of orthogonal polynomial contrasts, within the analysis of variance table. Before I proceed to show you, how it can be done by using a very simple Excel tool, I would like to briefly introduce the subject. Contrast analysis is a useful technique, that is employed by researchers to make comparisons, to determine which specific treatment means are different, by partitioning the treatment sum of squares. This will provide additional information for F-tests, to answer planned questions. If the F-test, in the analysis of variance is significant, one accepts the alternate hypothesis, that at least two treatment means are unequal. Since this information is limited, and one cannot answer which treatment means are different, and to go further in detail, the orthogonal polynomial contrast comparison can provide the required answer. An experienced researcher, should select treatments so that, treatment sum of squares can be partitioned perfectly, to answer as many independent questions. Contrast is orthogonal, if the sum of contrast coefficients is zero. Polynomial orthogonal contrasts can be, linear, quadratic, cubic, quartic, quantic or even higher degree, depending upon the number of levels of treatments. Orthogonal polynomial contrast is suitable for treatment levels, that are equally spaced. Let's get started. Open the Excel sheet, that contains the data from an experiment. Follow these few simple steps to arrange the data. Select whole data, including labels. Click on sort in data tab. Choose the first, sort by treatment and then, by replication. Click OK. Select labels, for observations recorded and, paste it in a separate place. Now get totals for each treatment, under the respective parameter. Label these totals with respective treatment. Copy the first parameter totals containing formula, and paste it under the rest of parameters. Now, you have totals for all of the parameters. Select these totals including the labels. Go to another sheet, right click, and choose to paste special. Check the box, value and number format, also check transpose, click OK. Now select the data, copy it, go to data entry sheet. In the data section, right click, choose to paste special and check, values and number format. Click OK. Select error mean squares for each parameter, obtained from analysis of variance table. In the same way, paste these values, in error mean square column. Now. Enter the number of replications, and error degree of freedom associated to the residual source of variation, in the analysis of variance table. That's all. Go to the result sheet. In degree of polynomial, click on auto filter icon. Uncheck blank, and then click OK. Now, you will get all of the trends for polynomials, containing, the sum of squares, mean squares, F value, probability and significance. If treatment levels are less than 6, the results sheet will show comparisons, according to the treatment levels entered. For example, a trial includes two treatment levels, the result will show a linear trend, if it includes three levels, the result will show linear and quadratic trends, if it includes four levels, the results will show linear, quadratic, and cubic trends and so on. I hope, this tutorial will be helpful for you. You can download the orthogonal polynomial contrast tool, from the link provided in the description. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe the YouTube channel for more informative ideas. If you have any question, write in the comment box, I shall hopefully answer to all your questions. 
Thanks for watching this video.